Okay, let's head to lesson number three. This lesson is all about discount ranges and how they can be misleading. Now, what you might hear at the local barbecue or something like that when we are talking about interest rates, people will talk about, oh, well, I've got a, you know, a 2% discount. Now, I've been a mortgage broker since 2004, and I can tell you the discount rates that we used to see on a $250,000 loan, we would see discounts of around 0.7 of 1%. Um, if it was below that, remember, obviously house prices were a lot cheaper back in 2004, we'd see, you know, um, if you had greater than 150,000, you would standardly get a 0.5 discount off the standard variable rate. Now, this is the important point here. Not every lender is playing fair, and this is my point about misleading rates. So let's go and have a look now at what I'm talking about here. So I've just got two major lenders. Again, I'm coming back to the CBA, and you can see here that the CBA standard variable rate is, the comparison rate is 5.5. The interest rate that they're looking at is 5.1. So that is their standard variable rate. Now, if I take a different example where I, where I move across and have a look at, um, say, Bank of Melbourne as an example, we can see here, let's go to full screen, we can see here with Bank of Melbourne, you can see here that their standard variable rate for principal and interest is 6.37. Now, that standard variable rate at 6.37 is significantly higher than the CBA rate. So if people are at their barbecue and they're talking about, oh, I've got an X discount in terms of my discount these days, that was the old days, radio. now we're sort of starting to see discounts very much in that sort of one to 2% range. And if you're borrowing a significant amount of money, we've seen discounts as high as 2.95% off some lenders. But what does that really mean? My point being is, if people are telling you at their barbecues or at the catch-ups or the dinner parties, I've got a 2.95 discount off my loan, it's misleading. Because again, if CBA, in the example that we use, has a significantly cheaper standard variable rate than what the Bank of Melbourne are saying in terms of their standard variable rate. So the message here is really, really simple. It's not so much about the discount. So the discount is important, but it's really about the ultimate rate that you're going to pay. And it's that final rate in terms of that calculation when you're releasing that. So off the standard variable, if you've got a standard variable of say 6.25% and you're taking 2% off that, then that brings you down to 4.25% interest rate. If you've got say a 5.3% interest rate with a different bank, which we just saw, and they're giving you a 1.25% discount, all of a sudden here, you're sitting at 4.05. So even though this was the bigger discount, this is the better rate. And I think that's the message here that most people need to understand. Discounts can be misleading. Ultimately, it's the final rate that you pay is going to be what value you get. So that is an important lesson in terms of lesson number three. Let's go over now and have a look at lesson number four. So I hope you took away the important lessons in that video and watched the other videos as well in this series. Now, you're then armed with that information to go and act yourself, but if you do want it done for you, that mortgage review I'm talking about, then why not reach out to the Empower Wealth Mortgage Broking Team? All you need to do is click on the link and one of our team will be in contact with you shortly.